Trying to figure out how to have affiliations balanced. What ideas do y'all have? Would switching these around work? How can y'all ask us our opinion if something should change when we don't even have the information about what we were supposed to get in the first place? Ladies and gentlemen, we're not wasting any time. We're gonna get right into it. There's a lot going on in terms of NBA 2K24. They're changing the game before it even comes out, whether that's good or bad. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Let's just check out all the information and then I'll give you my opinion on it. So, first things first, as if you've been watching any of my build videos, like I told y'all, use the informational purposes only because as you can see, the builder that we had at Community Day is not fully accurate to how it will be when the full game drops. See, Zach Timmerman tweeted, we'll be dropping the very recently updated attribute requirements for my career badges tomorrow, stay tuned. And then I said, did it change since Community Day? Because I don't want to put out any misinformation in my videos telling people this is accurate. I'd rather be at least transparent and say, hey, this has changed a little bit. So just use this as like, uh, you know, as a vision for what you want to make. Nah, not exactly, because it's going to change. You know, even the bills that I'm putting out, even if I wanted to make it, I'm going to tweak it because the, like he said, the requirements for the badges have changed. But that's not it. That's just the tip of the iceberg, okay? Over here, y'all remember the video I posted a couple days ago talking about the affiliations, uh, Rise and Elite, and how you get certain boosts from each affiliation, but they haven't told us exactly what those boosts are yet? Well, <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting crazy, all right? So Uncle Debbie said, trying to figure out how to have affiliations balanced. What ideas do y'all have? Would switching these around work? If not, uh, if not then, then what? Let us know. Here's my thing. We don't even know exactly what these affiliation boosts give us, right? If you're not aware, basically Rise was gonna give you a finishing boost and a playmaking boost. Elite was gonna give you a defense boost and a shooting boost. But essentially, we don't even know if it was just like a 5% boost or if it was actually gonna give you like plus four attributes. And then the question was, are those plus four attributes gonna be able to unlock certain badge levels? Are those plus four attributes gonna be able to unlock new animations? So we had a concept of what we were getting, but we didn't even know what we were getting. And now they're, they're talking about, they're considering changing it when the game hasn't even come out yet. So it's like, I don't even know what to think. Like, is it good? Is it bad? Like, I guess if something is broken, like for example, if last year they realized the six, nine point guards were broken in the aspect that their badge tiers gave them a huge advantage over other builds, they could have addressed that before the game came out. And that would have been a good thing, obviously. The more balance we can create, the better. But like I said, so the builder that everybody's seeing is a little outdated. Now we're talking about changing affiliations. We're about to talk about the fact that they're patching animations already. They're, they're changing a lot and I hope it's for the better. I hope it makes the game better just like I'm sure you do. But <sighs> y'all see where I'm going with this. It's like, we don't even really, for example, we don't even know what we're getting here, right? And we're already talking about changing stuff up. <sighs> You'll see the comments, right? Tiller said, or anything has changed, just a couple of things I would like to know. How big are the boosts in general? Will these boosts allow players to unlock animations based off the attributes, etc.? Rise has playmaking boost, let's say it's a plus three boost, will that allow players to unlock more SIGs and animations? Because that is huge. If it doesn't, well then playmaking boost isn't that big of a deal. Obviously, I would say shooting and defense boost would be the best. But if you can now unlock animations, Finishing and playmaking boost might be the way to go because you could get contact dunks even if your build technically wasn't supposed to. You could get new dribble sigs even if your build wasn't technically supposed to because you're getting a plus three or a plus four or a plus five to your playmaking or finishing attributes. That's the stuff So It's like, how can y'all ask us our opinion if something should change when we don't even have the information about what we were supposed to get in the first place, right? That's my big thing with this whole thing. And, and a lot of people are commenting, like Laker fans talking about it. Uh, Stats is talking about it. You know, a ton, ton of comments, obviously, on this because it's in terms of like how the game is balanced, it's a big deal. So like I said, I hope all the changes they're making are for the better. But without the information available, I don't even know how to respond to this. Like, I don't even know what would make it balanced because I don't know what it was in the first place. OK, also over here, you're going to see Mike Wang 
responded to a tweet that was deleted. He said, this cross launch and the walk back will be patched. Now, I don't know if y'all remember the walk back from NBA 2K23, but I think that is a good thing to be patched because first of all, nobody moves like that in real life. Nobody's running full speed forward and then instantly stops on a dime and moonwalks like Michael Jackson back to the three point line and shoots. So that's a good patch. But I believe the clip he's talking about, about the cross launch is this clip right here. And if what he's talking about is this move right here where he goes a little behind the back and then a crossover, I don't think that's anything like super crazy. Like y'all let me know in the comments your thoughts. I don't think this is like, I feel like that's something somebody could do in real life. Like you go behind the back and then cross over, behind the back, cross over that way. Like, I feel like that's just a normal like combo. Like I don't, unless I'm, unless he's talking about this right here, this fat stop, and they call it a fat stop for all my sweats you guys know but like the more casual players you guys probably don't know but basically a lot of people are using this fat stop to like crab people in pro-am and it got really glitchy as the year went on so maybe he's talking about that but i wouldn't consider that a cross launch unless that's what mike wayne calls it but i think i feel i feel like that's like a cross launch like if that's what they're talking about y'all let me know what y'all think about patching that i feel like that's a literally a basketball move like why i don't i don't think that needs to be that needs to be addressed to me that's just a normal play but we also have more animations being patched so there's this clip that was floating around from Giannis from community day where he grabs the rebound and he does the blowout dribble twice and gets straight to the basket so the first thing about this I wouldn't be at first I was a little concerned but then I heard from people that you can bump steal this so like if you blitz this right as he does the throw out dribble if you blitz this you can get a bump steal and steal the ball so you have to do the blowout dribble and if that's the case you have to do the blowout dribble when you have a ton of space so i'm not really worried about that obviously this is playing against the computer so like right here if this was a human and you were to blitz right here and press x and get that like bump steal you would be able to get it is what i'm told but mike wang told us Giannis was accidentally assigned to Lillard's dribble style in the community day build. This will be fixed for launch. So that's another animation that they're, you know, I guess who knows how many other mistakes were in there. Hopefully mistakes like that, right? Like this is a good patch. Like obviously if you gave Giannis the wrong dribble style, yes, that's a good patch. But patching like this, I just don't like y'all again let me know i don't see why this like why does that need to be pat what's wrong with that i don't understand like i guess because people were complaining on twitter i don't even are we gonna get into that whole debate like i feel like there's no way somebody on twitter saw this little behind the back and then a quick crossover and said nah that's cheese that needs to be patched like there's no way right like am i Am I out of my mind? Am I out of my mind? I don't think I am, but am I? And the last one I got for y'all is Iggy Mo said, walk back and speed boost patched. Giannis Sigs switched. Affiliation boosts might get touched. How are we already on patch four of NBA 2K22? <laughs> it's funny. You got a point, like we're patching a whole lot of stuff and the game ain't even come out yet. Let me know what y'all think, man. I, I feel like, again, I hope the stuff they're looking to patch, like, I hope the stuff they're looking to patch makes the game more balanced. But again, like the big thing here with the affiliations, we don't even know what we were getting in the first place. So how can we say like we should change it or we should keep it the same or what? You know what I mean? We don't even know what we were getting. How the hell can I give you an opinion about whether we should switch it or not? Y'all give me your thoughts down in the comments, man. But if y'all want to check out a build video, that lockdown build right there is crazy. Honestly, I think it's the best lockdown build on the game that I've seen so far. Definitely go check it out, man.